Now to a developing story, a massive data breach at San Diego Unified Schools. Today, the district announced that information was hacked from 500,000 students, including social security numbers. Our attendance reporter Jennifer De La Cruz is joining us. And Jen, the school knew about this months ago. The district found out about the breach in October, but they did not announce it to parents or to the public until today. Now, some of that compromised information includes mailing addresses, phone numbers, and social security numbers. Some parents I talked to say this is the last place they thought they would have to worry about cybersecurity. A data breach sweeping through San Diego Unified Schools. The district announcing 500,000 students had personal information exposed online. We spoke to one mom who didn't want to show her face, but she wasn't happy. You know, being busy with the holidays, you get this email, and now it's like you, you worry because now I have two kids at the school, and how much information do they have? Hackers sent out a phishing email to employees. About 50 of them clicked on the link inside, exposing all of their students' personal data. The breach ran from January 2018 through November. Some of the compromised information for students included mailing addresses, phone numbers, health information, social security numbers, and parent contact info. I just, I don't know what to do now. I mean, can you run a credit check on a child? The school first found out about it in October. It's a little shocking because they have known about it for a while. I'm not prepared. I don't, I don't know if I should be enraged with the school because they haven't disclosed this sooner. The district says they had to hold off because we had to go through the investigation process um, to figure out what that scope was. And because it was an active investigation, um, we needed to make sure that uh, we had all the information uh, before we can tell folks what it was about. Staff information was also compromised. It included payroll info, beneficiaries, routing and account numbers. The district is working with school police and the district attorney's office. They have identified one suspect, but no arrest has been made. So the breach started in January, but the district stores data from past students for about 10 years. So even former students may have had their information compromised as well. The district says they have taken measures to correct their security systems since the data breach. Reporting live, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News. Doesn't do anybody good for now who's been affected. Thank you, Jen. So tonight, the school district is urging families to protect their information. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin is live in the newsroom with what you need to know to protect yourself. Adam. Yeah, the first thing you want to do is review all of your credit information. Look for anything suspicious. You want to look for anything that could be considered fraudulent. The California Attorney General's website does have helpful tips for consumers on how to handle different types of breaches. If there was an issue with your credit card or debit card number, something dealing with your social security number. In this case, student and selected staff social security numbers could be involved. According to the California Attorney General, you can contact the credit bureaus and report potential identity theft. There's a system that allows you to flag your file with a fraudulent alert. A fraud alert helps protect you against the possibility of an identity thief opening new credit accounts in your name. If you're dealing with financial information that's been breached, monitor your accounts and report anything that doesn't look right. Data breaches do happen. According to the Identity Theft Resource Center, the number of U.S. data breach incidents tracked in 2017 hit a new record high of more than 15. Now, these breaches happen. They do happen in California. In California, the California Attorney General's office does put them up online so you can search these different breaches and see if you were affected by any of them, not just this incident with San Diego Unified, but really any incident that's happened. If you didn't know about it, you can come to the website and search it. Reporting in the Live Center, Adam Rakusin, Team 10. All right, thanks, Adam. And we sent out a breaking news alert after learning about the district's data breach. To get real-time news on your smartphone or tablet, download our free mobile app. Just go to the App Store and search 10 News.